18 months ago, I uploaded a video documenting my process of learning to do that over the course of nine days from scratch. I practiced before and after work and even during my lunch break. And when I added up all the time that I spent on the unicycle learning to ride for 30 continuous seconds, it amounted to two hours and 38 minutes in the saddle. I was amazed at just how little time it took me to learn how to do this. And this was to be my second video ever and I was a bit apprehensive and anxious about uploading it because I felt that people might think I was being dishonest with the timings. Is two and a half hours a quick time to learn how to do this? To understand that, let's look at how I make these videos. So the process of making Learn Quick can be tedious and hard work, but it is remarkably simple. Every day I'm filming, I just push record on the camera and record the entire process of me learning for that day. When it comes to editing, I just add all the clips together and this is what gives me the total time I spent learning. From there, it's just a process of cutting up the clips, creating a coherent five to 10 minute video and putting some music over the top. That's it. But what these clips don't encompass is all the extra time surrounding this period when I'm actually learning something. Back when I was learning how to unicycle, I would try and do 20 yes. minutes before I went to work. Yes. This represents the portion of the time that I actually spent on the unicycle. But surrounding that time is all the faffing around required to get me out there. Coffee, breakfast, getting dressed, driving to the location, waiting for the weather to improve, wasting time, taking breaks, showering, coffee, getting dressed before going to work. It all adds up. This unaccounted for time soon can completely dwarf the portion of time I actually spent learning something. What this shows is, learning is actually pretty fast. It's all the other crap that takes up the time. So it seems if you really want to learn something quick, what's more important than how you practice or where you practice or your equipment is reducing the time surrounding your actual practice time, weaving it into your routine. When I learned to spin a basketball, I spent four hours and 40 minutes over 10 days learning how to do that, but it felt effortless. It was really woven into my routine. I would spend five minutes here and there between emails, working on other videos, watching TV, and just take five minutes to spin the basketball. The excess time surrounding the task at hand was effectively reduced to zero, and it felt like I learned it much quicker. I'm not special, I'm not particularly smart, I'm not talented. Learning just doesn't take as much time as people think. If you can somehow find a way to strip out all that excess time surrounding the thing that you're learning, you will be amazed at just how little time is actually required for you to pick it up. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and insightful. Thank you very much for watching.